so good morning everyone and welcome back to Manila in the Philippines. We're currently outside of the Bureau of Immigration as we've just had to extend our visas. Uh, yeah, that's the guy. <laughs> Good, you guys selling an iPhone Yeah, there. so that guy is selling an iPhone which has clearly just been picked up from someone who's left it over there. Hi, dear, Hi, how are you? Fine. Imagine if we turn around, that's my iPhone. Yeah, so that guy, as I was saying, looks like he's just got an iPhone he's found in the uh, immigration office and he's trying to sell it for cheap. So some poor soul has lost their phone. But anyway, back to the video. <laughs> yeah, distraction. We've just had to extend our visa because we'll be staying a little bit longer in the Philippines, which is really good news. Uh, it came to around uh, 3,000 pesos each, which is quite expensive, but I mean, it means we can stay in the visa for longer than planned. Yes. Which so is we good. can stay here now for 60 days and it's actually really quick. We're in there probably less than an hour. Yeah, so yeah, there are. Now as Beth said, very efficient in there um, and they're very pleasant as well, really nice people. Uh, today's video is all about modern Manila so we're going to be exploring the modern, developed and rich side of the city. Uh, we're currently on the way to get Beth a Starbucks and then we'll head to what is told to us as the biggest mall in Manila which is the SM Mall of Asia. Uh, we haven't been there before, so it's going to be our first time. It's meant to be huge. We're so excited for the time. Yeah. We love our malls. If you've seen our other vlogs, you'd know how much we absolutely love going to We do. I feel like the malls give a good idea as to how much money is flowing around the city. Mm. And then we'll head to the BGC area, which is uh, the business and financial and rich section of Manila. So again, haven't been there before, so we're super excited for it. So yeah, yeah Mall of Asia, BGC or BCG. I'm not sure. One of them. <laughs> Come with us to explore the modern side of Manila. Here we go. Here we go. Coffee time. Oh, it is bigger than it looks. You're so awkward, aren't you? I just like my non-milk milks. Non-milk milks. Thank you. Oh my gosh, that was probably the busiest Starbucks I've ever come across. So yeah. hectic in there. I think we're right by a university or uh, college or something, so it's full of small kids. That makes sense. Uh, but best got a coffee. She's finally got a coffee. Now, oh, yeah. I guess we get a grab to the mall. It should all be open now. So it's around 11 o'clock in the morning now. So hopefully everything should be open, but I guess we'll see. Yeah, let's get a grab. Right, I'll go outside. Here we go, grab has arrived. Let's get in. Hi. Hello, Hi. how are you? Hi, good morning. Good. It smells nice in here. It smells lovely in it smells here. Smells like bubblegum. <laughs> <laughs> you like bubblegum? Yeah, yeah, it tastes, smells good. <laughs> tastes good. Kamusta ka? Ah, I'm good. You're good? Yeah. Uh, Anong pangalang mo? I'm Jan. Jan? Yeah. Nice to meet you. I'm Dan. I'm Dan. I'm sorry, Dan. And that's Beth. I'm How's Dan. the Philippines? Yeah, good. So we've been yeah, we here for three days now? Three yeah, days? Three days, yeah, in Manila. Uh, we have four or five more. What's so, the next stop? Uh, Koron. 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 Yeah. It's the best place here in the Philippines. Yeah. yeah Is that your favorite place? Koron. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I've not been there, but I know that place uh, is so beautiful. Yeah. Good. Yeah, we're super excited. We go to Koron, El Nido. Yeah. El Nido. Um, Boracay. Yeah. Boracay. Okay. And Shargao. Sure, go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you like surfing, sir, huh? Well, we like it, but we're not very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we try. <laughs> we're not very good at all. Rockless make perfect. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Can you surf? No. No. Me and you both then. Are you from Manila? Yeah, I grew up here. Nice. Do you like Manila? Uh, 
No spicy left? No. <laughs> <laughs> because the traffic. Yeah, yeah, there's Such a lot of traffic. traffic. Yeah. We found that I feel so like traffic. we went to Jakarta not long ago and I feel like Jakarta was worse. But yeah, Jakarta traffic bad. Oh, really bad. Yeah. Also Jakarta. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Nice to meet you. Have a good day. Happy Valentine's Day. See you. Yeah, happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh, you get some flowers. <laughs> what the fuck? Thank you. See you. Thank you. Bye bye. What a lovely guy. Oh, he was so nice. <laughs> he was such a nice guy, wasn't he? <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Happy Valentine's Day. So we have arrived to the. Uh, SM at Mall of Asia and wow it looks huge so as you can see they've still got some Chinese New Year stuff going on here but it looks massive so oh, we need to get in there is security here so I put the camera down for now just in case they're a bit tight on it and then we'll pick it back up afterwards level three right then we have entered and it's a nice entrance hello Everyone's so friendly here. They are, really friendly. Also, this is a really nice mall. I know we've only been in for like two seconds, but, but it already looks incredible. Yeah, oh my god, they've got like a car garage over there, look. It's like really clean and like shiny. It is and really clean. nice hair con. <laughs> Smells nice as well in here. I mean, it looks really spacious and really big. We're just going to go into the main area here. I think it's the main area. And have a look. They've got some sort of uh, thing here, but oh wow, look. Oh, that's nice. This is a nice mall. They love, I feel like Southeast Asian um, malls love the big kind of yeah. displays in the centre. We don't have that too much. Okay then, so we're just walking through here now and I can see a central atrium going this way and then entertainment mall that way as well. So I assume we're not even in the main section here, which I thought we were, but maybe we go down this way. I wonder how big it actually is. Yeah, because everyone keeps saying it's the biggest mall here in Nilla, so I'm expecting something to be really big. I mean, floor-wise, we're looking at maybe two or three floors. Yeah. But I think in terms of, like, the space, there's so much. But yeah, like, Central Atrium and SM Hypermarket, so go that way. So I guess we've got to go right up there. They've got a lot of American brands here. Oh, and yeah. Oh, I haven't seen it before actually. Since uh, I haven't seen it in years, we get closed down in the UK. Oh, anymore. really? Yeah. Well, it says hypermarket there, and hypermarket means a really big market. <laughs> we haven't been in a hypermarket or hypermall since India, so it'd be uh, interesting to see how big this is. But yeah, so many nice brands. Oh, let's go and have a look in MLB. Yeah. What the hell? So we've just noticed. Ben's cookies. They have a they have a Ben's cookies here. Now this is like a brand we have in England. I'm pretty sure it's an English brand. Yeah, and we love Ben's cookies at home. So to have this here in Manila is like sick. I haven't seen Ben's cookies in any other country we've been to as opposed to England and America. So oh my god. I want one. The caramelized one is sick. Ooh. And the matcha, we actually, I don't think we get matcha flavor at home. No, we don't. So I think that's more of an Asian thing. They've got so many here. Orange milk chocolate, double chocolate well. nuts, peanut and milk. Oh my God. Wow. Be interested to see how much these are because they are quite expensive at home sometimes if you get loads. Um, white chocolate, white chocolate churn. Yeah, I was going to say how much no. they are. So we're, like this, uh, we're definitely going to have to get some, I think. Do you want one? Uh, no, I'm okay, thank you. I might just get a two then. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Please, can I get one orange milk chocolate? And one, hmm, do you want that one? And one caramelized crunch, please. That's all, thank you. Thank you. Okay, here we go. The moment of truth. Should I get a match to try? Do you want? 130. How much? How much, sorry? 230 pounds. Can I pay on card? Is that okay? Can Thank we you. also get one matcha? Please, I'll send you half. We've got so many goodies here. We have. We also picked up a matcha one last minute. But well, that's the caramel crunch. Should we give that a go? Yeah. Let's give these bad boys a taste test. Do you want to do the honours? Mm. Is it nice? It's so moist. Yeah. Like, even just when you bite it, it's so soft. Yeah, that's nice, that. That's, that's a good, good shit. <laughs> right, this 
so I don't like orange chocolate, so that's what I'm Okay, we're we'll going for the orange chocolate. <laughs> Incredible. So good. Mm. They're yeah. so soft. Yeah, they are. Whereas at home, sometimes they can be a bit hard. So. Mm. Oh, yeah, and then we went for the matcha. I've never had a matcha cookie before, so interesting to see how it tastes. Mm. Is it nice? How would you that's recommend? That's so good. Really? It's really earthy. Mm, let's have a look. No, I really like that. Mm. Mm. That's, that's actually not bad at all. Mm. That's quite nice. Mm. It's the first time I've ever had a matcha cookie before, so... So we don't really have matcha, do we? No. It's mm. really good. Yeah, that's quite nice. That. Maybe it's a popular thing over here in Asia, but not at home, it's not. Mm. Oh, nice. So we're now walking down to, I guess, the main atrium or the hypermarket section. So be interesting to see what we've got. There's so many things here. It's just like, it just goes on forever. <laughs> it's so big. They've got so many, Amer honestly, so many American stores. Yeah. Everywhere we go. So many, like, hopefully they might have a pull and bear here. Right then, we're going to see what's upstairs now, get these escalators and see how much we have up here. Um, oh my god, there's so much up here. Right then, let's have a look. So Beth mentioned that there might be an ice rink here, which if there is an ice rink in the mall, that is also insane. Um, god knows where that will be, I'm not entirely sure. But I think, so I think they might have like a cinema and stuff here as well, but I could be wrong. Oh yeah, so up here it says oh, yeah. cinema, entertainment mall, um, SM store. So then I believe Beth was correct. We can see a laser arena, which is really cool. And then we can see a skating arena there. So we're going to have a walk around here and then we're not actually going to go skating, but it'd be nice to see what it looks like. So we're going to go out there and you have a look. You don't want to see us skate. Yeah, <laughs> it's not pretty. It's not pretty, but I mean, yeah, I mean, it's so cool that you've got laser and ice skating there. So I assume there's probably even more stuff to do up there as well, uh, but so cool. Okay, here we go. Skating. They literally have a full on ice rink in here and it's really cool looking. Uh, oh my God, you can see it just over there. Um, unfortunately, there is a bit of a wall in front between me and the ice rink, but just in there, you have a huge ice skating rink and it's so cool. Like, wow. They've even got all your kind of cinema snacks here, popcorn, sausage. Oh my God, this is so cool. This is incredible. So yeah, just over there, we have a full on ice skating rink. That blows my mind. We don't have any malls in the UK with ice skating rinks in them. I think it's so cool. It's such a good thing to have an ice skating rink, isn't it? This is so cool. It's cold. Really nice yeah, I know. I just mentioned so, that. Yeah, like, it's yeah. amazing. It's such proper American vibe. So it's literally everything here. If you want to come for a day out in the mall, like you got everything. So cool. You always find like one or two good people on the ice though. Yeah, like, we're not one of those two people. Ourselves. Yeah, <laughs> not at all. Show everyone up. And then over here we have the laser arena and Cosmic Kids. So I guess Cosmic Kids is like a little. I don't know. I guess we'll go find out. What's this? Uh, Pana Archery. What the hell? Oh my god, they got archery. What is it? They've got archery, look. Ah. Oh my god. That's cool. That's really cool. Again, we don't have anything like this in the UK. I've never actually seen archery in a mall no. before. Is it any we good? We have walked past the Americans. Mm. Maybe it's like targeted towards American tourists or something. I don't Maybe. know. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and then here we have laser, cosmic laser, which I guess is like laser tag. Again, insane. We do have laser tag in the UK, so that's not new to us, but it's quite cool they have it here. And then, yeah, cosmic kids, I guess, is just like a kids' play area, similar to what we have at home. That looks fun. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. This mall is really a cool. It's a cool mall, isn't it? It's a cool mall. It's wild. It's actually so big. It's so much to do here. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so we've just been dropped off at Bonifacio Global Centre. Now, oh my God, this is insane. 
The high-rise buildings here look so clean, so modern. Hello, how are you? And really nice. So we don't really know where we're going here, but we're just gonna have a walk around um, and try and find some stuff, but Yeah, wow. I think they have a lot of malls and like kind of big shopping centers here, uh, which makes sense because we're kind of in a wealthy area. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna figure out where we're going and grab some food. So we've literally just been dropped off in the middle of the high street by our taxi so it gives us free reign to walk around and find out what's what and where's where but first impressions insane it looks really nice here it's a lot different to where we're staying over in the espana area that's for sure like a huge difference uh but it's nice so i believe now we're in some sort of square and i think We've got like shop like shops either side, maybe a shopping centre here, and then we've got some like little, nice little love part here. It says Rise and Slay there, Rise and, slay. and a Samsung Galaxy kind of like interactive box over there. Oh yes, yeah, so oh yeah, sure. the BGC. There you go. This is exactly yeah. where we want to this come. This is the Bonnie Focaccio. Focaccio. Yeah, that <laughs> High Street. This is the Central Square. Ah. So we are literally right in the centre of the BGC. Pretty good place to uh, get dropped off then, and as you can see, like I don't know, I've said it already, but the high-rise buildings—it just looks so nice around here. Look at that! What a view! And obviously, you've got the gold letters there, just to let you know you are in the nice area. They're yeah. really pretty as well, actually. Yeah, they are. They're done really nicely, like, aren't they? In the sun. Yeah. Loads of nice restaurants and all that kind of stuff. All that jazz around here as well. Oh, yeah. Literally feels like I've been transported into New York here. It's incredible. We are just outside. So we're, we just left the BGC, this little square thing, and we're going to go to the food district down there, um, which is underneath, I guess, a big mall. Um, but we see a big Shangri-La there as well, which is like an insane hotel chain. Uh, we stayed in one in Colombo, in Sri Lanka. So nice. Yeah, so I mean, incredible hotel. I mean, there's so much around here, but yeah, we're gonna head down this way and find ourselves some food. Now, I'm not entirely sure what is down there, but we'll try and find some traditional Filipino food. If we can finally make our way across this big road. There is a place we wanted to try, what's it called? Nam Manam? Something like that, yeah. Not entirely sure, but look at that street. So nice. Literally New York vibes here. It's actually Pure quite New York. nice as well how the high buildings are blocking the sun. Yeah. It cools us down a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah. And it's a lot more windy. It is a bit windy, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, these are the coolest. Yeah. They are. Yeah. Food district, your food destination. Hello. Hi. There we go. Go and see what they've got. Yes, get a package now. Oh, oh, it's like a proper courtyard of like different stuff. Look, oh my god, we've got seal, oh, South Korean food, we've got Macau food, we've got potato corner, secret kitchen. Oh, we've even got Vietnamese. So then the restaurant of choice, I believe, I think we've had a walk around here and there is so much here. However, we're going to go for Aburix or Aburi X, I'm not entirely sure. I think it might be Japanese maybe, but they've got some really cool looking sushi and bento boxes. So yeah, this one's gonna be the one of choice. So I know this isn't traditional Filipino food and I apologize, however, we saw this on the wall, which is bento box, a promo meal for 225 pesos of pork tonkatsu. And that just looks insane. So I haven't had any katsu or pork tonkatsu in a long time. Yeah, and you've gone for some sushi as well, haven't you? Sushi and the Thank you. Is it Japanese? I think it might be. Yeah. Sushi. I mean, you'll have to let us know, but I believe it might be. Uh, not sure. But I mean, this area is really cool. There's so many. There's so much variety here. Anything it's you want. Not much Filipino. Yeah. It tends to be kind of Japanese. I think. I haven't seen many Filipino kind of pop ups here. But. Unless we're not looking properly, you'll yeah, have to let us know if you've missed any because, yeah, I mean, obviously it's our first time here, so we don't really know. But anyhow, it would be appreciated, of course. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I've gone for that one. Best gone for some. Yeah, it's Japanese. Uh, 
Well, we'll uh, see what something comes out. So the starters has arrived and we have some salmon sashimi, which looks incredible. That looks so fresh, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks so fresh. I'm going to do the honours. I? Yes. I always get scared of sushi because I'm not going to repeat my temper, but I don't like really cushy fish. Well, here we go. Let's uh, give it a go. Is it good, is it? Are you happy now? Yeah. Wow, and the main course has arrived. This looks insane. For 225 pesos, this is unreal. So we have um, like breaded pork here, we've got our rice, we've got our veg, and then we've got some sushi there. And I believe this in here is some sort of soy sauce, maybe? Yeah. Oh, is it? That is it looks fun, little like crazy. Yeah, they're well nice, aren't they? Yeah, I'll give the uh, sushi a bit of a go first. <laughs> Well, that's nice. I like the California rolls, which I think oh, no. could be, what's that, crab? No, no, it didn't taste like crab. I'll give it a pork a go now as well. Mm, that's so good. You got the chicken teriyaki. Is it nice? Yeah, really good. Oh, that's right. It's being too shy. Mm. Oh, that is good. Mm. That's really nice. Have some that, yeah. Yours is nicer than mine, but no yeah, what's this going to say? Unreal. So let's uh, tuck into this and we'll let you know how it goes. And just like that, it's done. Stomach is pretty much full up. Sashimi done and the bento box is done. That was so nice. And it only came to, for all of that, it came to a total of 757 pesos which is around 10 pounds so i guess when you put it to that 10 pounds quite similar to what you get in the uk actually not cheap but not too expensive um, but i mean i'm glad we found this place in this nice little food court uh, we'll be back here to check all the other food out that's for sure but um i know this wasn't filipino we will be doing jolly b we'll be doing um chow king chow king we'll be trying out some filipino street food and, and adobo and with the misa so yeah um we will be eating a lot of Filipino food whilst we're here, so don't worry about that. But this one was lovely, so glad we found it. So what we just noticed here on our walk through this area is a 3D, like what they call display, media display screen, which is really cool. I've seen one of these, I think it's Tokyo, um, and basically it looks like stuff jumps out at you, it's just so cool. So that's actually flat, but it looks like it's... Yeah, it's 3D, actually isn't so it? cool. I don't think I've ever seen one of those before. Yeah, <laughs> I have, I've never seen one in person, so it's the first time. And yeah, I mean... Yeah, they just had um, dragons on there for Chinese New Year, but we just missed it to record. But it's like they're coming out the screen. It's yeah, so cool. So we're just walking through the BGC area, and oh my god, so we've got Bentley, Audi, Porsche, and then Lamborghini garages oh. here, which just is insane. Like. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Nice that to RDR go home rate's with nice. That. No, I'm a bit of a Porsche. Oh, that Porsche is really nice. Look at that. But it's crazy just to think that you just have these just here, and there must be a market for them. Oh, there's only one Lamborghini. Only one. Yeah. Only one Lamborghini, which is a shame. I thought there might be a few more. I like but, the Porsche. Yeah, I mean, it just shows how much money is flowing around this area. If you've got these kind of like dealerships here, they must get a lot of clientele. That Porsche is nice, but this Audi R8 is definitely nicer. Definitely. <laughs> do you like that one, do you? This car hasn't been spoken before, which I'm assuming means it's been sold. Yeah, I assume that does mean it's been sold, actually. But, incredible. So nice. That Audi R8 is sweet. Wow. Never been into an Audi R8. No. no. Hi, how are you? Hi. But yes. Thank you. But that pretty much wraps up our modern Manila day today. I mean, it's a great way to end showing the luxury end of the car market here. Yeah, it's mental. Um, but yeah. It's a really nice area. Yeah, the BGC area is actually really, really nice. We've been walking around here for the past half an hour now and it's just so clean. There's everything you could possibly want here. Everyone's really nice. And yeah, I mean, well dressed. Everyone's really well dressed here. Yeah, the <laughs> Filipinos do have really good dresses. They have such good dresses. Yeah, really good dress sense. But that is it for today. 
Obviously it's Valentine's Day today, so we're gonna go out and get some food later on. But modern Manila, it's been good. We've enjoyed it. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.